Welcome to Arduino Projects Digital Inputs. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you like our channel, definitely subscribe as that helps us continue our projects and it also helps us fund extra projects and extra kits. So let's begin. For this project, you will need one red LED, one 220 ohm resistor, two push switches, they have four pins on each side, and seven wires. You will see the colors in the video. Install the LED with the short pin on the left. Install a black wire on the left pin. Install one end of the resistor on the right pin. Install a red wire on the right side of the resistor. Place the other end of the negative wire or the black wire on the negative bar of the project board. Now install a switch into the project board. The switch only goes in one direction. As you can see, the pins don't match in this picture. When you flip the switch around, the pins now match in this picture. So now install the switch into the board. Install a black wire from the right pin to the negative bar on the board. Install another black wire on the right pin to the negative bar on the project board on the second switch. Install a blue wire on the left leg of the switch. Now install a yellow wire on the left leg of the other switch. Now install a black wire to the negative bar of the project board. Now install the wires onto your Arduino. Five is the red wire, eight is the yellow wire, nine is the blue wire, and ground is the black wire. Now let's add some code. Before the setup, we want to make some room and let's do some definitions. Let's define as an integer LED pin is equal to five. Another integer called button A pin as 9 and another integer called button B pin as 8 and then we add the line byte LEDs is 0 or nothing. Now let's add some code in the setup section. In this area, we are going to define the mode of the pin. So we have the LED pin is an output. And we're going to an identify another mode for the button A pin we're going to define that as an input pull up, which means when it is not zero, it will activate. And then pin mode, we're going to say button B pin is going to be the same thing, input pull up. So when it pulls it up, that's when it gets activated. And let's correct the I that's in there. Now let's look at the loop section, the part that will be detecting your buttons. So we're going to put a decision or an if statement, and we're going to say if when it reads digital read of button A pin is equal to low 
when it has nothing on it, do the following, and those will be surrounded by braces. So then we say, we will write a digital write LED pin will be high. And then we put another if statement and we're going to say digital read of button B pin, which is the other switch, if that one is low, we will surround what we're going to do in the braces and we will write a digital write to LED pin and we will put that as low which turns it off. High is the high voltage, low is the low voltage. So let's look at all of our code. You can pause the video to take a look at the code. Let's send the code to the Arduino by clicking the right button, which says upload. So it is uploading to the Arduino. And now the Arduino is reading it and you will see the lights flash. And the right button puts it high, and the left button puts it low. If you like this video, feel free to give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. We will be posting more videos with more projects for Arduino. And remember, keep on learning.